And focus now gets artistic as we welcome in representatives of Rumble Art, Amy Dozier and Daniel Gucci. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So, Amy, what is uh, Rumble Art, the movement, its beliefs? Uh, Rumble Art is actually an international contemporary art fair that takes place once a year. And um, it's got a variety of artists that are coming to exhibit from all over the world, so nationally and internationally. And it can be uh, 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 many forms of art, yes. paintings, drawings. Yeah, we have painting, drawing, film, photography, mixed media, art, installation. Every artistic medium is represented. And how did you guys get involved in Rumble Art? Uh, well, through actually Ashley Woods and Catherine G, who mm -hmm. um, started an art consultancy business and partnership. And um, they've actually begun a variety of projects in Santa Barbara and beyond that really have the goal of enriching global communities and um, giving back to Santa Barbara here. So they've started um, a blog that I currently manage, and I like to talk about local events in the community, such as um, the Santa Barbara Museum Nights and First Thursdays and um, exhibitions at UCSB, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then I like to link those um, to a global context, such as talking about um, the current economic state of the art market and, and talking about you know, China's rising position within the art world. So through Rumble Art and through Ashley and Catherine's various projects, um, mm -hmm. we're really trying to not only involve more people in the Santa Barbara art scene, but to really make Santa Barbara a global contender in the world of contemporary art. And right now, how would you describe the, the, the Santa Barbara art scene, Daniel? Um, well, we have a variety of projects going on this summer. I mean, our Rumble Art Fair, which is going to take place in February 2010, um, is a ways off. So we have some uh, works um, in the interim, um, including a short film series in uh, association with uh, Wolf Productions. Um, we're showing monthly films at local restaurants, including Alcazar and Milk and Honey. Um, I believe this month we have four films. Um, we have Valentine, which is written and directed by Nikki Quinn. Um, we have Sleeping Giant, uh, directed by Shaw Leonard. Um, Drip by Jack Motter and The Seduction of Time um, by, I believe, uh, Freeman Stevens. So we have a variety of um, films to be showing this month and, and beyond into the rest of the summer as well. And a, a real coup to be... You know, the 2010 Rumble Art, just like uh, 2009, to be paired up with the International Film Festival is, is incredible exposure. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really great exhibition. So. Mm -hmm. and, and so you mentioned the film series. Anything else that is going on before you know, we get to 2010? Yeah, actually we are um, working with Art From Scrap on their annual assemblage show. And that's basically a fundraiser auction for Art From Scrap and their various um, programs in the community and that takes place um, from now until July 25th in which um, the event will culminate in a reception, live auction, and silent auction. And until then we're actually allowing people to bid both um, in person at the Art From Scrap gallery on the second floor and we're allowing people to bid using Twitter. So we're really trying to take a unique approach to this to unite people um, in both the community and an online platform. Tell me some of your inspirations uh, for to be in this field. Um, well, I myself am a classical pianist. Um, I've done photography for a few years, um, but I'm mainly interested in the business going on behind um, the arts community. And that's how I got involved with Ashley and Catherine and Rumble Art. Um, I'm the marketing director for Rumble Arts, so I write a lot of articles about the upcoming fair and the featured artists, um, and then pitch them to publications to make sure we get our name out there um, within the global arts community. So it's, it's a fun process, and it's really rewarding as well. Yeah, and how about you, Amy? I've loved art since I was a little girl, so I mean, everything art-oriented, I majored in um, art history throughout my career at UCSB, mm -hmm. and um, I just fell in love with everything art related and I really enjoy like the behind the scenes business side of it as well so it's a pleasure to work with Ashley and Catherine and Rumble Art is just so exciting so 
Well, it sounds like you guys are doing some terrific things. We're going to put up uh, some information on the screen on how you can learn more about Rumble Art, www.rumbleart.com. And then look at this. we got our first uh, Twitter link here on and in focus, twitter.com slash Rumble Art. Well, Daniel and Amy, thank you so much, thank you very much. for thank sharing you. Uh, some information about what's going on before the big event in 2010. Thank you. Well, we have run out of time. Thank you for watching In Focus. We'll see you next week. Have a good evening.